That's how I start stream. Get the like, hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. I feel like the Nintendo theme would work as well. <laughs> but I didn't pick that, so because I'm scared of Nintendo. But hi, Nintendo's everybody. scary. Nintendo's <laughs> they terrifying. Are. They hello, are. everybody. Oh, Karina Lane, first time chatter. Hello. <gasps> hello. Hi. Welcome. We are all JC. We are all Cardlin Audio. Aren't we? <laughs> are no, we? I am Cardlin Audio. <laughs> no, I am Cardlin Audio. <laughs> no, I am Cardlin Audio. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how you doing? We're doing just a little mini, a mini sewed, a mini, a mini sesh, just a little half mm -hmm. sesh. I was drinking tea. Yes, very informal, because. I don't know if you guys know, but we do this thing on Wednesdays, which is yeah. tomorrow, like around the same time, and oh, that's when we played D&D for realsies. Within 24 hours, I'll be able to say that I played D&D three times. Fuck. <laughs> nice. Because it's this, and then I have my Tuesday night session, and then tomorrow. Nice. Yes. That's some kind of god dang. Which is your favorite? No, I'm kidding. Obviously, this one. DM. <laughs> clearly. I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do that to you. To be, hey, to be honest, after last session, kind of is this one from being you know. <laughs> just, just for now, just for now. You know, when, when there's ratings, right? Sometimes some <laughs> shows beat other shows for like a little bit. But uh -huh, I've, I've been playing uh -huh. with those. I've been playing with my Tuesday group like for 20 plus years. But oh, yeah, the la last week was a, was a bit of a high point. <laughs> it, was, it was it was pretty great. Like the more I think about it, the more the more I'm like, y'all really fucking nailed that session. You 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 you. It's just me and Camellia this week. It's just Ludo and Camellia and and then the DM. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's all it is, baby. We shopping. <laughs> Let's have a little shop around for some of our wonderful chatters to say hi to. <sighs> shopping references. I say nice. shopping like that's the only thing we're going to be doing. Um, which it is, as far as anyone is concerned. Do we want to take uh, turns <laughs> saying names? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see how fast we can go. Like, okay. Like that one like terrible drama group activity. I'm going to fuck this up immediately. Nice. Let's go. Uh, let's go. I'll go first, then Ludo, then Camellia. I'm just always going to call you by your character names. So <laughs> that's how it's going to work. Okay. Um, you may not call me DM. That's weird. <laughs> Whatever okay. you say, DM, let's go. <laughs> uh, Zombie V, hello. Hi, Stream Elements. <laughs> oh my gosh, Karaoke, hi. I'm a huge fan. Hi. Marka! Marka? <laughs> Okay, Roxy. <laughs> Rubes is here. I've heard of them. <laughs> Bubbles for Ari. Hello. Maka, no, I'm kidding. Yes, <laughs> I get. Yes, you guys, I get new for the pee pee face. Hi, hi, for the for the pee pee face. Best ones. Hi, hi Red <laughs> Raccoon. Oh, good catch. Yeah. Epic gaming jam. Hi. Oh shit. Thank you for the biddies, me. And also, hello, Karina Lane. Oh, hey, hello. Cardlin. <laughs> what up, Scorpio? No big deal. It's just my mod. Hi, Scorpio. Woo! What love? What love? Hi, Phantom. Phantom. Oh, I need to scroll down. Um, um, wait. Who? Who did you say? I said Pam Town. Oh, Pam Town. Pam Town. Um, um, um. <laughs> Eliza Lynn, hello. And I think that's everybody. I think that's it. Stream hello elements. Hello, everyone. Stream elegance again. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 w
What about that guy? I and then JC said... It's me! <laughs> Yay. Yeah. He said Kimura Oh, dirt. Maka has a point. Uh, I have... Hi, Goob, who is <gasps> with my dog and, oh. and currently in my lap. Goob. She's in my lap right now. Goob. 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 <laughs> yes, everybody also you. say hi to our mods today, Scorpio Slayer and uh, Rube Goob. <laughs> <laughs> Most important moderators. Mod love. Thank you for keeping us safe and Goobish. Hi, Goobish. Um, but yeah, I think... I think what we'll do is we'll start. Uh, I don't know who we'll start with. We'll <gasps> more chaos. <laughs> um, which one is which? I can't tell. <laughs> you can't tell, really. Uh, we'll start. I mean, he's got a giant <laughs> frog, and she's like from an alien planet. Like she's that's inherent chaos. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll 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 start with Camellia. I think we'll ease into things. Okay. Oh my gosh, Goob. The picture oh yeah, I'll put this goob. on. I'll post this on Twitter too. Bombastic side Goob. Wait, side Goob. Oh, sounds like look at else. the doggy. <laughs> Yay. I posted so, that picture. We thank you. I like your mouse pad. Thank you. <laughs> the whole setup is, yeah. is giving. It's, it's very me. It's very good. I am gonna sneak a look at your fucking tabs. How many tabs have you got? <laughs> so many tabs, oh my god. Reasonable amount, that. reasonable amount of tabs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, reasonable. For now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You definitely closed like 50 of them if you're taking this picture. Mine. No. <laughs> <laughs> the secret is tab groups. I mean, no. Uh... The secret so. is closing tabs key. That's the secret. The secret is you close the tabs. And then control shift T. <laughs> control shift T. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so for for the sake of brevity, levity, um, ding dong devity, mm -hmm. um, we shall say this is uh, the morning of the morning after the night before. Uh, so it is the night, huh? the day, the he, he, the day after. Uh, the opera oh, okay. sleeps have been hid for sake of thing. We'll don't worry about your health and stuff. I uh, haven't planned any fights, and I'm getting my spells <laughs> back. Mm -mm. No, don't <laughs> because we might be starting from yesterday evening. <gasps> okay, okay, be, go be good, be good, be <laughs> good. I have five level um... five spells. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. It will be the morning after. Everyone will get a bit of free time, um, or just be waking up. Camellia, the day, the morning is yours. You awake. Things are chilling. What would you like to do with your day, morning, morning day, day morning? <laughs> I would like to go check on Winnie and friends in three. Cool. Three. Um, three. Three. Another character to accidentally. <laughs> um, oh no. <laughs> no. You head you head into the main kind of um bro brothel lounge <laughs> area, the best place to find all of your children. Uh and you see there kind of chilling as usual. Uh you see three, you see Winnie. And you see friends. They appear to be playing some kind of checkers game. They they're trying to do like three way, three way checkers, and it's not going great. Um, but they're all doing that while they eat some scrambled eggs for breakfast. Uh, morning, guys. Yeah, morning. <laughs> they're all very, very intensely focused in on this game of checkers. <laughs> You see, you see, uh, friends kind of peck one of the, one of the counters, and the others just go, hey, "You can't, you can't do that." And just, <laughs> and just argument breaks out between them. <laughs> oh, three, how have you been enjoying things so far? I know we kind of left last night, but a lot happened, and it was best that you stay here. Oh, um, 
it's all good. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, the mouse guy's turning up today. Pick me up. Go and show me the ship and stuff. So that'll be cool. Ooh. Nice. Yo. How are you with loud noises? I mean, I've been hanging out with a frog and a, and a seagull for, for almost an entire day, so... Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. I've heard some weird stories about him, but he seems like he'll be cool. Yeah, he's nice. Just a lot. But you'll be taken care of by him and his crew. And you guys get to be on a flying ship. Are we gonna, like, do crimes and stuff? No. You should not do crime. Crime is bad. I mean, says the group that brought a kid to a brothel. <laughs> a little crime is okay. <laughs> as, as you say that, you see Winnie is, like, stealthily trying to take one of his counters. And speaking of crime, looks like one's about to happen. Points at the board. What? What did you do? <laughs> and they and they all go back to <laughs> arguing about checkers. <laughs> Amelia will just grab some eggs from wherever they got them from and yeah, sit down and on the counter available to hum num num. Hum yeah. hum num num. <laughs> hum num num. Yeah, she'll just grab some and join them. Or just watch them. Oh, just, yeah. It, it's mostly <laughs> just uh, every kind of few minutes a counter is moved. Um, there's usually about a minute long argument after each time a counter is moved, except for one time that Friends moves one. Kind of just squinting at them the whole time. He's just <laughs> pushing it forward with his little foot. And then like, no, I think that's a valid move. I think you're allowed to do that. I don't think this game is working. Maybe we should try chess. Oh. And you see him kind of go and look for someone to find to give him a chessboard. <laughs> and by that time, your breakfast is fully eaten and you are thoroughly entertained by the morning's activities. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just wait around until Ludo or whoever come out. Um, so with that, with that, we can't really tell who will come out or when or what or why. So that'll probably be a conversation we address at this point in tomorrow's session. So assuming conversations are had, greetings are mentioned. Um, I mean, it's fair to say uh, Camellia would see Luto probably either during that time or as they are leaving to venture into town for some errands and exploits. So, Luto, Camellia, you see each other as you leave this hank chair. Usually you see Luto come out with uh, Umberlai, but this time he's uh, out a little earlier and he's looking like he's already ready to go for the day. He's got like a big, he's got his stuff with him. He's out for a day for adventuring. And he sees you on his way out. What were you eating for breakfast? Uh, scrambled eggs. Okay, so he'll walk over and just casually, like, take an egg and, like, take, like, a handful of scrambled eggs and shove it in his mouth. Oh, oh Camellia, thank you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you, you, there's a bunch over there if you wanted some. Yeah, but this one is, you know, sharing. Family, friends, breakfast club, right? Mm-hmm. You gonna finish well, that? You're Hands over the entire plate. All right. <laughs> so what are you doing today? I don't know. I was just gonna chill with the pets. Uh, how about you? Where's Umberly? Oh, she is still sleeping, huh? <laughs> very tired, <laughs> huh? You know? <laughs> you know, she's very uh, tired from last night, you know what I mean? Very big night, you know? Huh? Mm. You know, mm. you know? Huh? Mm. Turning into barbarous. <laughs> 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 ah, she's so asleep, yeah? Ah, <laughs> oh, big night on yesterday, you know? Big night, yeah. <laughs> I... 
snuck out so if she's looking for me just let her know you saw me and i'm safe i have a very secret mission to do today okay uh do you need help or do you want me to be like a distraction for her oh yeah uh do you remember the name uh of that uh god with the secrets remember that name what's that name uh Him? Har harpesh Har Har Harpesh? Harpesh. Har Harpesh. Yes. Yes, friend. Harpesh. Har I can't understand. Oh, friends, what is it? Harpesh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that one. Okay, good. Uh, it has nothing to do with what I'm doing today, so, you know. Okay. I trust you. What about you? You need anybody beating up? You need some, uh, put some pepper on your eggs? Uh, well, what's left of your eggs? You took the rest of my eggs. I, I think I'm okay. I... I'll let you know if I need anything. Okay, if, if you need me, just, uh, send this one. And he, like, tap, tap, taps friends on the hat. He knows where to find me all the time. We have a magical connection. You do? Yeah, right? <laughs> friends? Yeah, see? Okay, sure. I uh, scoop up friends in both hands and I pull them up to my face and I love you so much. And I like, you know, it's like when you when you get a cat and you just like, you're just, ah, you're just so, you love the cat so much. Ah, he just gives him like a week's worth of affection in like a, a one, in like three seconds. I'm, Sets her down on Camellia's horn. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> See you <Off> later. <laughs> Out of the beaded curtains. <laughs> so, Camellia, what are we doing for the day? What? What doing? <laughs> what doing? Uh, I feel like exploring the town because uh, she has just kind of been cooped up in the brothel and the theater and that's it. Hell yeah. Is there anything in particular that she, uh, Camellia might be keeping an eye out for, looking for, or otherwise kind of hoping to find? It would be nice if she can find some clothes for three and some other supplies for him. Aww. Oh, how nice. Hmm. Roll Can't send him out empty handed. Roll investigation check for me, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a 14. 14. Um, funnily enough, you come upon the, uh, same shop that you got, you all got your, um, that you all got your various clothings from. Oh, the uh, one from across the street is where we met three, right? It's where we got mm -hmm. yeah, just bamboozled by three. Outside <laughs> <laughs> where he, yes, where, uh, three, three, uh, stole some, uh, some stuff. Um, I have not written down that lady's name. Um, but you, you know, you see the, uh, the same little clothing, clothing shop. Um, and inside is a different person running the shop today because I have not written down her name. Um, <laughs> we're just, it's a lot more casual today. We can, we can talk about stuff like that. Um, and you see behind the counter just like doing a lottery spinning wheel of animals in my head <gasps> yes uh you see an anteater folk um kind of with the same like wide feet and arms uh standing the kind of pattern where the tummy is darker is is like a a uh, bardo top, like sweetheart neckline, <laughs> little homemade dress, uh, and you see this antita folk lady behind behind the counter. 
He'll go in the shop and go, uh, good, good morning. Oh, good morning. How can I help you? Uh, I was wondering if you, uh, had any clothes for children? Oh, we do. We have a rail, uh, just over at the back there for anything you might need. Uh, is there anything specifically you're looking for? Oh, I need clothes for a kid who's, uh, oh gosh, how old are humans? This big? <laughs> She'll kind of wave uh, her hand up and down to roughly how big he is. You can roll just a, a general intelligence check if you want to see if you can figure out how old this human this human boy is. I want it to be a one. That'd be so funny. That would be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like 500 years old or something. I know. Oh. I got a 12. Okay. Um, could uh Orphans are usually children, at least mm -hmm. from the stories you've heard of orphans in the human world, you know. Um, it's rare you hear of orphans who are 30-something. Um, so, <laughs> just from the storybooks, it's like, usually orphans are children, so... It's children, adult children are like 20 and under, <laughs> age-wise. Yeah. So, a... Clothes for a kid, uh, roughly this tall, he might be, he, he said his name was three, but I don't think humans talk when they're three. <laughs> so... Oh, some of them do. My one oh. was quite smart. He was talking when he was two and a half. Oh, well, he's somewhere between three and twenty. Kind of just looks at you, just with wide-eyed, <laughs> open expression. Just okay. Well, we do have some. Uh... <laughs> we do have some quite elasticated clothing, so there's room for him to grow into stuff. Or if he's already taller, it shouldn't look too daft on him. That Perfect. works out for you. All right, lovely. Um. Yeah, we have this bundle here, which is like a little full outfit. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, and they're usually around the two silver mark. So we could give you, if you're looking for, are you looking for just a single outfit, a full wardrobe, like any fit or form or function? Uh, I'm buying it for a kid my friend adopted and they're going to be traveling a lot so I think it'd be nice to get a bunch of different types of clothing alright that sounds good I'll tell you what let's do three sets for five silver okay perfect thank you wonderful alright so we'll go with one set of these one set of these and these are slightly more good for rough work and labor so that will be five silver unless there's anything else you want is there a place that sells kind of small weapons around here In oh armor? there are a couple places i it really depends on your budget uh that weirdly enough you'd think the higher up the mountain you go the uh the better the quality and the more expensive, wouldn't you? Which is very true. But some of the better blacksmiths are actually further down toward the lake by the aqueducts because it's got the water for the water wheel and like power in the forge and all that. Mm. So it might be worth having a look up and down or maybe just down depending on your, uh, your budget. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you so much. Are you looking for a knife for the child? She kind of just her eyebrows cross a bit. <laughs> oh, no. It's just uh, something for me. I, while I'm out, you know. Might as well get all the shopping done. Right. I just, I wouldn't 
bear to think about weaponizing a child. Of course not. Roll a persuasion check for me, please. Mm-hmm. Or, no, deception. <laughs> uh, deception. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm persuading her for it to be okay to give an. Are you time. are you actually looking for an for a weapon for three or are you actually looking yeah. for a weapon? Okay, deception, deception, Shit. straight straight up deception. <laughs> We're perfectly cool with confiding Seven. him to a life of labor, but you know, not a weapon. <laughs> Look, I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Just because some of the animal folk are real cute doesn't mean they don't hold problematic prejudices. <laughs> <laughs> I love Antitas, but this lady ain't necessarily the one. Um, okay, that's a seven. I'm gonna roll <laughs> roll an insight for shits and giggles. God, I rolled so well last session. <laughs> that means it's time for the bad rolls. She kind of squints at you. All right, well, if you are buying it for yourself, like you say, just make sure he don't get his mitts on it, all right? Of course, of course. All right. (laughs) Go on, then. Off you go. (laughs) Thank you so much. No worries. Be careful out there, all right? Wouldn't want to hear you getting into any trouble. Yeah. Uh yeah <laughs> I'm through a lot of trouble all right take care <laughs> she's definitely suspicious but she didn't fully catch on that you're straight up buying the weapon for him <laughs> still dubious about the entire thing though <laughs> buying kids clothing and a knife mm-hmm. <laughs> it's normal <laughs> You should buy him an automated rifle instead. Oh, much God. Safer. <laughs> <laughs> Teach him how to put the safety on and everything. <laughs> safety? On an arcane weapon? <laughs> you mad? <laughs> right, so, <laughs> I love her. Um, slightly, slightly uh, Christian mom vibes. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so... Where would you like to head for your future search? Would you like to go uphill, potentially for a fancier knife, or downhill for potentially more expensive but sturdy knives, or just shit knives? (laughs) A shit Uh, knife, you say? Shit knife? No. (laughs) A poop knife! (laughs) Uh, I'll go uphill. Ooh. Since we're going to Aqueduct Slator. Okay, roll another investigation check for me, please. A sneak please. peek at the Aqueduct. Ah. Mm. The Aqueduct. The Wild Ducks. Aren't all ducks Aqueducts? Uh, yeah. I got dirty. 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 Oh, right. oh my god. That is so freaking cool. Let's talk about how cool that is while I look for a name. <laughs> that, I thought that's oh. pretty cool. Oh, that's yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> okay, I found someone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, so as you head up the hill, you do see a discernible, um, just so not even poshification or like raising class or quality of goods, but there is a definite little bit more. Uh, it, it's it's the difference between in the fey the fey realms, you know, going somewhere very posh in any of the different um, court lands or districts, versus just going into the very beginning parts of the court of extravagances lands. It's it's like it's subtle. But they want you to know that they have sparklies a little bit more. Uh, Whether they actually do or not is an entirely different matter. Um, But kind of just a little bit further up the hill, not too much further, uh, you do see um, just a small, um, fairly open building. um, No kind of official doorway, just a little sign with the crossed swords on it. And uh, you see what appears to be um, a dwarven person work in the forge with their big goggles on and just lightly tapping at some metal with a hammer. 
Uh, hello. Good morning. Um, they, they kind of stop and just look around like they heard something and then they see you and just, oh, take their goggles off. Yeah, hi, what's up? Um, I was looking for a dagger. Oh. Come to the right place. Um, <laughs> yeah, you see this kind of uh, short dwarvish person, uh, super androgynous, but with just the smokiest, badassest uh, eyeliner you've ever seen. Nice. Um, just loads of earrings all up and down round the ears. Nowhere else. Um... And they've kind of got the sooty face and big goggles and just... It's hard to tell if their hair is jet black or they've just been at the forge a bit long. <laughs> um, have tattoos up their neck and arms. Um, and then just a very regular uh, forge forge outfit on. Uh, yeah, what kind of dagger are you looking for? Uh, one for a beginner adventurer. Uh huh. For you, or I'm picking up for a friend. Okay. He hasn't really adventured before, and it's his first time kind of out in the world. So I wanted to get him something nice. Okay, cool. So you're looking for a custom design, or just something simple, easy, pre-designed, but a little bit special kind of vibe. Uh, something pre-made, most likely. Okay. Um, you see, they kind of go over to the wall, the of um the kind of uh, anvil part of the forge itself and pull out this like huge almost one of those library shelves that retracts um, and you just see this whole rack of daggers <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and very very short swords um, varying colour and material from iron to steel to more elevated gold and uh, some that gradient from like a gold to a blue, some that radiant from blue to a purple um, some that are black but when they hit the light they're just red slightly, a lot of interesting glints and glimmers and decorations and everything um, there's a couple of rows of these that have various kind of uh, slightly more fanciful decorated handles and hilts, whether that's wrapped in cool leathers and furs or engraved metals. Um, there are quite a few kind of variety there. But what, what kind of dagger was Camellia figuring to try and pick out for three? One that's kind of light, maybe one with like a uh, leather on it. A bright, Something like, like plasticky kind of handle. <laughs> <laughs> Baby's first dagger. <laughs> the the bottom of the hilt, the pummel just comes out and it's got like a bubble blowing wand. <laughs> 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 Wait, no, hang on, I kind of want that now. Um, Serves as a sippy straw. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Glows in the dark. Yes. <laughs> Uh, it's just got glow in the dark stars on it. Um, but yeah, Luke, uh, Camellia would find pretty much the exact kind of dagger they are looking for on the top couple of rows. A couple uh, in different colors. There's one more bluish, one more reddish orange. Ooh. Leathers. The blades are just kind of irregular, irony, steely metal. <laughs> Uh, shall I the reddish orange uh, leather one and go oh that one looks perfect oh yeah okay let's have a look at this one this one is nice I do love the uh, leather on this one just a nice little you know little something special uh, wow I had a sheet up and ready in case I needed to know how much things cost and that <laughs> character doesn't have a dagger um <laughs> it's like wow what character doesn't have rando dagger okay um yeah and uh they just go yeah so the uh, asking price for this is two gold but hmm. i am open to haggle uh 
How much would it be to engrave something on the blade? On the blade itself? Uh, it would take half a day and another... I'd call it five silver. Okay, sounds like a good price. It's, uh, for someone special. So, might as well. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't. All right, what do you want uh, engraved on the blade? Uh, the number three, please. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh, I'll do that. I'll do that for free. That doesn't take long. Oh, nice. Thank you. Also, so you're it's... terrible at haggling. You should get more eh. at haggling. <laughs> <laughs> and they Amelia is you. used to just paying the price. <laughs> on the tag. When you're rich, when you got Camellia money. Yeah. In the past, before Camellia has like <laughs> trade, like bought a dagger, but with the price of a child's soul. Um, oh, good. Like what a, it's some what a cost, right? Fey magic shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's that's more common. Yeah, like buying buying stuff in this realm is so easy. Yeah. It's gold. Okay. <laughs> You trap the child soul in a dagger, and then in exchange, you get a gold bar. It makes sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they smile at you as they say that, and uh, say, okay, uh, come pick this up later on. Here is your receipt. And they scroll you out a little receipt. It literally just looks like a very scrolled signature. And uh, I'll see you later. Thank you. And how much was it? So it was two gold in the end. Oh, okay. Writing that down for myself. Okay. No uh, worries. Yeah, of course. See you later. Puts the goggles back on. <laughs> Ooh. Forge noises. Hello. Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Learn things. Um, cool. Is there anything else Camellia would like to do? Or do you need some time to have a think? Uh, I think Camellia would just go back to the brothel to have three try on some of the clothes to see if she got the size right um thankfully because of the elastic they do even though you get there and they kind of look way too small uh because of the elastication around them they do somehow fit and fit very comfort comfortably nice do it may I also go back to the brothel to keep an eye out for Umberlai. Oh yeah. We don't ask. <laughs> if Appreciate you were it. to like listen next to the door or just um <laughs> or just have a little peek in, zonked. Zonked. It's very unlikely she's gonna wake up before the afternoon. Mm. Oh, also, uh Can I roll an investigation to see if there's any sort of instrument? Uh, stores around? You certainly can. Um, run investigation for me, please. Investigation. <laughs> I had a goob in my lap, so I was distracted. No <laughs> Goob. 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 A 16. 16. Okay. Um... You figure there must be, especially because of the concert venue. Um, and indeed, heading round that part of town, uh, you do find um, quite a quite an extensive uh, shop front for a uh, music shop. Um, looking in the windows, they have harpsichords, pianos, uh, trombones, trumpets, dulc dulcimers, uh, Marimbas, <laughs> <laughs> classic maracas, uh, you name it, they got it, pretty much. Veal, they're Mongolian instruments, they're like two string and they can make them sound like a fucking horse. They're the coolest, I love them. Nice, mm nice, -hmm. I will go inside. Okay, uh, inside. Hmm. Animals, wheel, spin, go. <laughs> oh, it's coming up blank. Uh, uh, 
Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Um, you see a uh, kind of um, wearing a <laughs> wearing a kind of uh, I guess it is almost like a stereotypical French uh, shirt with like the black black and white stripes across um, you do see um, a fairly small sea otter um, kind of chunk slightly chunkier and shorter than its uh, more lean river counterparts and um, it's got a couple of tiny little glasses perched on the end of their nose um, and they see you enter as they're uh, seemingly tuning a piano Oh yes. Uh, hello. Can I help? Hi. Uh, I actually had a question about an instrument I picked up a while back. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, she'll walk up, rummage in her bag, and pull out a horn. Uh, so I won this in a contest, and the person who gave this to me said it was a horn or something. I've never really seen anything like it. Uh, do you know what it is? Well, it is a horn. Have you blown it? Uh, no. Why should blow it? Sure. She blows it. Uh, is is just a random question? Is Camellia um, <laughs> is Camellia thinking of anyone? Well. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, that was a terrible <laughs> fucking question. Is Camellia <laughs> thinking of anyone when they're blowing the horn? Um, also, I'm going to need to know what the, the horn sounds stands. like. So, Rubes, if you could just... What is, what is the... When you oh, blow it, oh, was it... We'll get, we'll get there. Mm -hmm. Do not worry. Okay, okay. Do not worry, my friend. Just trying to make Rubes make silly sounds. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> is Rubes thinking of anyone or just kind of dead-braining it right now? I feel like she's just always thinking about Winnie. Okay. Um the horn is silent. Is what? Ugh, it must be broken. Stupid Wendell. Oh. Well that doesn't see were, were you blowing? You weren't inhaling, were you? Yeah. You were exhaling. <laughs> yeah. She'll take a big breath and go <gasps> But nothing again. <laughs> oh, <sighs> Odd. May, may, may I have a look? Uh, sure. Takes it over to the uh, to the checkout desk, climbs up his little step ladder, adjusts his tiny glasses, puts it on the table. <laughs> I love him already. He's so cute. <laughs> um, kind of uh, looks it over, looks inside, puts on a little telescopic lens on one of his glass glasses eyes. Oh. One, one moment, please, miss. And kind of puts it on the desk, climbs back down the stairs, heads around the back, <laughs> comes back comes back out, uh, brings a little scroll with him. Uh, and casts this spell, and you see this kind of blue light fall over the horn. Ah... Yes. This is a magical horn, miss. Oh. Huh. So it doesn't make music? Well, it, 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 in a way, it does. But not hmm. outwardly. You you would not get very far in an orchestra with with uh, uh, the, the, this horn. Um, This is a horn of silent alarm. Um... And he, <laughs> fuck it. He gets out this massive bind, just this massive book. Like it is almost just as t like as thick as his head is tall, and just <laughs> and just just finds a page, just just perfectly opens it exactly where it needs to be opened. <laughs> Blows all this dust away. <laughs> 
Uh, the Horn of si Silent Alarm. Uh, items imbued with the power of Silent Alarm. Uh, when blown, one ally of your choice, or one ally or enemy of your choice, can hear the horn's blare, provided they are within 600 feet of the horn and not deafened. No other creature hears the sound coming from the horn. It gains its powers of imbuement daily at dawn. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's rather ironic, isn't it? Having a horn of silent alarm. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite funny, actually. What a good prank. Mm-hmm. Makes sense why he gave this to me. Oh, why did he give it to you? He yeah. is a jerk. Oh. To say the least. I, I, I figured there are many wondrous uses for a horn of t silent alarm. Trolling. Mm -hmm. you, you could make bets at the local drinking station of, of um, I bet you can't um, make a note to make a high note on this on this horn. And then when they try, they are unsuccessful and therefore you win the bet. Hmm. Or, or, or something. I, 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 it's a battering horn. Just smack your enemies about the facade with it. Hmm. Well, thank you. I'll try to find a use for it. But well, mayhaps you would uh, peruse our brow, uh, our selection of horns that do indeed m make a noise. Uh, sure, yeah. Might as well while I'm here. <laughs> Trying to get more money out of me, too. I know, the upsell. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, long story short, he would, uh, unless you say anything, spend the next half hour uh, showing you specifically the horn section. Not the trombone or the trumpets or anything adjacent to a horn, because a horn is a very specific thing, and he tells you all about it. Um, and and he will do this unless stopped. <laughs> I'll let him. <laughs> half an hour, all right, half an hour later, there is not I, much I want to say, during his explanation, Camellia will just be randomly blowing on the horn while thinking of different people. <laughs> Do you think uh, who? Okay, so you've done Winnie twice. Who do you think of after Winnie? Friends, maybe Ludo. Oh. Okay, Ludo. Um, we'll get to you. Uh <laughs> <laughs> she'll, think, she'll think really hard about Wendell. Uh oh, it would be great if it didn't have four charges and if Wendell wasn't six hundred oh, feet right. away. Right, how so far away. Feet away? Yeah. Unfortunately. 600 oh, yeah. miles Just... might be able to get him, but... <laughs> but um, yeah, twi twice for Winnie, one for friends, one for Ludo. Sweet. Share the love. <laughs> um... Oh, just uh, Winnie and friends just having a field day with three going to be like, Meh! Um, chaos in shoes. Uh, after the long tour of, of horns, um... <laughs> Uh, he shows you a range uh, between 50 and 2,000 gold um, <clears throat> most of which are not enchanted, they are just musical instruments which are already abhorrently priced um, some for good reason, some less so um, one of them does have a strong enchantment on it but he's never been able to figure it out which is the expensive one can I cast Arcana to see what kind of enchantments on it? You can certainly try. I can try. Okay. You can certainly try. Ooh. With just a, with just an Arcana check. What about this natural twenty? Okay, close. Almost. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Let me let me have a look real quick. 
talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> um, you could like play darts with somebody and then like every time they're about to throw the dart, you blow the horn. <laughs> or you could be a grift. You'd be like, I play darts with somebody and then you're chilling over <laughs> there and every time they, yeah, nice. This group likes, loves betting. They love making. We do. Bets. We do. <laughs> I was honestly thinking about like placing bets on the checkers game earlier. <laughs> I'm gonna get. Do they want to get back? Okay. Um, you can tell with a twenty-one. Yeah. You can tell that this is a. <laughs> I just want to figure out the best way to say this because it's silly. This is a horn of warning. Horn of, horn of warning. Um, mm. Warn of horning. Um, <laughs> AKA, while this weapon is on your person, uh, not only do you have advantage on initiative rolls, but any you and any of your companions within 30 feet can't be surprised, except when incapacitated incapacitated by something other than non-magical sleep. The man weapon magically awakens you if you are and your companions are within range and if any of you are sleeping naturally when combat begins. Mm -hmm. So basically you can't, unless there is other magic involved, potentially you can't be surprised into combat or ambushed. Because mm -hmm. the horn will just be like... <laughs> Which will in itself surprise you. I was but gonna it say will surprise you to the horn rather than to the enemy. <laughs> so you're about to it's get like stabbed, a... and also there's a loud noise in your ear. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I feel like that surprise the the stabber too. Yeah, if it's like oh. me playing spooky games, like I'm okay as long as either R three or R two is knife or punch. Because if it is, or shoot, because if it is, when I get jump scared, I'm pressing either one of those buttons, if not both of them. <laughs> and that it. just makes me immediately kill a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I learned this the, the hard but the funny way. Just me, just baby key and destiny, like, oh, I'm so not used to first person perspective. Ah! <laughs> 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 that man is dead now. <laughs> I got so, I got an achievement for knife kills in Destiny. That's pretty much all I did in Destiny was get a fucking achievement for knife kills because I got spooked so many times. <laughs> it's a similar effect to that, I'd imagine. Just, just oh shit, I stabbed a guy. <laughs> but it does give you an advantage on in initiative, which is the is the good part of that as well. You are alert, awake, unsurprised, and ready to fight. Mm. And that horn will set you back one thousand gold. Neat. <laughs> uh, I think Camellia should be good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at her money. She's fine. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, Thank you so much for the tour, and thank you for telling me about this horn of mine. Uh, of, of course. Oh, how much money did we each get again? I remember we split it, but I never actually added it to my character. Uh, it's like a thousand divided by six, right? Yeah, it is... Oh, that's real money. 166. Um, 100, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I know. <laughs> no, yeah, 106. Yeah. Oh my god, Scorpio. Yes. Um. Yes. But for a hundred, a thousand gold. Sorry. You can get the horny, the Warner Horning. I'm just calling it the Warner Horning. One now. Horning. Yep. <laughs> well, if there's if there's ever any other instrumental uh. Items you need, you know, you can always come to uh, Rugerio's, which is my establishment here. I've decided. Rugerio's. <laughs> <laughs> it's on. It's on the list. I'll put that in chat. I want to see how you spell it because I typed it out too. <laughs> uh, the very French way of spelling it. Ooh, Ooh I got it right. 
Yeah! Oh. I want, I am fully going to do a spelling test with you guys one day. Come on down to Rujarios. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his cousin did the advert for it. <laughs> I was about to say, that's the one across the street. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, come across the rude, rude Gieros. We've got, <laughs> we got fucking pianos, got fucking horns, we got a fucking a violin. It's pretty shit, but you will it's buy it. One. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> no, I need, I need rude arrows to actually be a fucking shop now. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I'll put that. <laughs> Keep that tucked away for now. Yeah. This is why rolls matter sometimes, because if you roll bad for in uh investigation, you're gonna end up at Rudy Arrows and not Rudy Arrows, you know? <laughs> kind of fucking instrument you want, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Buy my fucking trumpet, you wow. <laughs> you won't, <Yes>. coward. <laughs> Howard. I fucked your mother or so buy this accordion. <laughs> Go buy this grand piano, I fucked your mother on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> this flute, you blow it just like I blew your dad. It will sound just like the noise your dad made when I blew him. <laughs> <laughs> so if this flute's longer, ew. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, uh, yes. But that's Rougie Arrows. Is there anything else, Camille? <laughs> that should be it. <laughs> Wonderful. Your, your shopping... Thumbs up. Ooh. Um, if there's anything else, feel free to mention. But for now... We will skip over to Ludo. Oh, hello. Hello. You have just briefly chatted to Camellia. Ate her breakfast. Are now, ate her breakfast and are now make, making your way into town. Okay. What are you looking for? Probably as I'm leaving, I will kind of like nod or nudge whoever is standing there on the street. And be like, which way to the temple district? Uh, up, up the hill. Thank you. And head over there. Uh, just fo go towards the temples. You, you find it. Ah, smart. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after 10, 15 minutes um, of making your way, uh, you end up in the wonderful... I think we need a music change for this now. Ooh, Temple uh, District music. Yeah, I totally have <laughs> some ready. Uh... <laughs> so ready. So ready for for that. Um... Oh, no, this is cute. Yeah, fuck it. Cute. Yeah, oh, I like it. Okay, nice. Yes. Very um, cute temple music. I feel I, floaty <laughs> and wondrous and planned. spiritual. <laughs> so planned it. Um, so you make your way to the temple district. Uh, is there any temple in particular you are looking for? You're just having a look around to see what's here. Yeah, employing a similar method, I will probably start asking around for the temple of Harpesh. <laughs> okay. Um, just kind of see if anybody looks. Roll, roll for me. Yeah, roll for me. Ooh, a perception check. Okay. Just a flat perception check, because you didn't do too bad on your off-screen religion rolls, so you're not starting off on the worst foot. That's good. Oh, nice. But <laughs> I got a. Once the dice settles, a twenty-one. Ooh, nice. Um, <laughs> you um, see a friendly looking uh, half-orc man just kind of going around with a couple of shopping bags 
and you just kind of I push uh, in his general direction. Yep. <laughs> general direction, and he looks at you. And just, Sorry. Harp Harpesh, you, do you know Harpesh? Oh, uh, um, <clears throat> and kind of hustles in closer to you. Um, my my brother, I I, I would advise against just yelling out Harpesh in, in the temple district. Why isn't he a god? Uh, well, well, they they are, but, but they they um, they're not uh, commonly known for being uh, a deity of decency. M morals kindness. Ah. Okay, well, what's wrong with that? Uh, they're, they're fairly taboo Boo, okay, taboo, <laughs> okay So, where is the temple of Harpesh? Uh, there, there isn't one, not here What? There's every temple, I thought Oh, there's so many deities Um... There, there are many hundreds of deities. Um, uh, okay. Uh, do you know any deities that has to do with like truth or like knowledge or like time? Maybe time. Oh, I'm I'm not an expert, but I can I can tell you the ones we have just in town. Okay. Yeah. There are, I live here. I'm not, I'm not a spiritual guy, but you know, Ludo, like a, no, no. Ludo <laughs> peels off two gold and presses it into his palm and says, "Please continue." Uh, oh, um, is is a bribe? Um, no, I'm just paying you for your time because I'm going to ask a lot of questions. Uh, oh, uh, okay. okay. Uh, I might not be the person to ask, but I no, you're going to do great. It's fine. Help how I can. Thank you. Um. I'm Mark, by the way. Hello, Mark. I am Luto. Hi, hi Luto. Um, great name. Um, love the hat. Uh, Mark, okay. Mark is just an all right name. You should yeah. do better. Uh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, in terms of the temples kind of in this district, uh, you have the Temple of Vieril. Um, who's kind of the most traditional? Hey, I'm religious. Okay, Good what's faith. what do they do? What's what's Bierel do? Oh well, that, that's the thing I'm not so clear on. Uh, they just seem like a, a good a good deity. They're just kind of nice and considerate. Huh. Like, like I said, these are just uh, you can go to these places and kind of grill them more. They'll be able to tell you more, but they they also might be biased. So, um, okay. So yeah. BRL's boring. Don't want that. What else we got? Oh, okay. Well, I didn't say that, but um, yeah, some of the followers certainly are. Um, well, if you're looking for something more exciting, uh, Desiran, De Derisandis, even I can't even say their name. Um, they have a kind of small temple here um it's kind of like about sins but i can't oh. some people people are like oh i go there for you know um repentance some people go there for acknowledgement of their sins and some people i feel like they just go there to be like oh i'm so sorry i won't do it again and then they carry on doing sins so I okay i like a sins but uh, okay. not really what I'm looking for right now. Oh, what else? What else? Okay. Um, do you like rocks? Rocks? Like in yeah. the earth? The ground? Like this yeah. one? Yeah. No. Okay. Skip that one already. <laughs> well, that, arguably one of the more interesting ones. But I, I mean, I did do my degree in uh, geological sciences. So. You're a rock optimist? Yeah. Uh, well, I did study rocks at university in Tersia, yeah. Oh boy, Mark. Okay, keep going. It's just a great... Have you not been that way? It's gorgeous. <laughs> the rock faces there are stunning. Um, Very really boring was... person, Mark. Boring name, boring there's, there's, pursuits. There's, there's giant crystals ar arching from... 
between this crevasse. It's, it's okay. Beautiful. Uh huh. Um. Anyway, if you if you happen to need rocks, which you never know, you know, you always need, you know. Oh rock boy, Mark. What the? Uh... So there's Stellatia and Stalagma. If you need them, they have a temple here. Okay, that's all I'll say. Uh -huh. Um. There's Ulfquall, um, deity of uh, loss and the lost. So if you need something to help you find your way, uh, Ulfquall could be really good. It's kind of a slightly shabby temple, um, but I don't I don't really know many people that go there. But it seems interesting. Uh huh. What, what do they do again? Uh, they're the deity of loss and the lost. Loss. Okay, that's a maybe. Of of qual. Of qual. Of qual. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, my rocks bored you. By the way, I just really am. They're really bad. It's a really bad one. Okay. Well, to each their own. Um. Uh. Oh, there's um. Is that one really weird shrine? Oh. Oh. Um. Sh the shrine of um. Esimek. Esimek. Yes. What's that? I don't know, but like the statue is fucking rock and roll. Ah. Okay. Esimek. Esimek. Sounds cool. What kind of rock and wait? By rock and roll, do you mean it's like very got a lot of rocks? Okay, it's not all rocks with me. Okay. Also, that's called tumbling. If if you mean oh rock tumbling. Oh my god, that I'm is a so different thing to rock. Very and roll. sorry, I asked Mark. <laughs> I love Mark. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I paid you so I can be rude to you, Mark. It's okay. Oh oh okay. Uh, you know, fair enough. Um. It's two, two golds, two gold. Uh, <laughs> the yeah, so the sh the the shrine has like this um, statue, and by, by rock and roll, I mean like it's pretty badass. It's pretty, it's pretty okay. Uh, hardcore. And it's it's kind of metal. Um, yeah, just like this figure with loads of wings, and um, yeah, there's always this really nervous like. Um, priest outside, kind of hanging around there. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what their deal is, but they're probably a lot easier to interview than I am. So. All right. Is that? You you want to know. Is that all of them, Mark? Well, um, um, there are other like deity things, but they're like less conventional. So. Okay. Um, there's um there's a guy that hangs around one of the uh one of the benches there's like a graveyard um not far from here and if you go the other side of the graveyard there's a bench under this large tree and uh you've heard of nil right no what's that <sighs> uh okay so you know the fey wilds and the fey realm yeah it's like that, but darker. Oh, like scary. Well, some people say scary. Some people, it, it, it's just literally darker. It doesn't mean it's actually scary and bad. There are some scary and bad things there, but there are in the, the Fey Realms as well. Okay. Um, and I just talked to the man on the bench? Uh, yes. So there's a guy there called uh, Liorcerin. And uh, he can get you in touch with one of the uh, Nil deities, I believe, of Whispers. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. My um, half sister's brother's wife went there once because um, she wasn't getting any other answers from any of the other deities. Apparently, helped out a lot, but I uh, don't know much else beyond that. It's fairly secretive. Okay. And so... the last one is the library. Hey. What I'm gonna do with the books? Well, there's a spirit of knowledge there. 
things. Oh. Like a deity, but not... It, it's, it's slightly different, but could potentially be of help. Okay. Library, graveyard, shrine of Ikel, Ikin, Ikin, Ikinbek, and then temple Is, of Ulfgar. Isimik. Yep. Uh, um, okay, so Vieril. Boo. Stellation and Stalagma. Ah. So boo. Boo. Um, I know you don't like rocks. We've learned this. Uh, Ulfqual. Ulfqual. Uh, Derisandus. Oh, which one's that one? The uh, deity of sins. And sins. Oh, man, yeah, man, 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 man. Uh, Esimek. Esimek. Uh, uh, find Leosarin, Lios and he'll help you commune with one of their deities. And, uh, Idzeo at the library. Okay. Thank you very much. I mean, if if there's a if if you're going to commune with Harpesh, you might be able to find a place to do so, but you might might want to do it low key because either the priests or the deities themselves might get actually really pissed at you. Okay, I'm we'll gonna try and save you. So is it illegal? I'm gonna go to jail or? Well, it depends. You know. Because Do, doesn't Harpesh ask for, like, sacrifice and stuff? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Um, maybe do some research on your deities, my friend Ludo. Um, uh-huh. Okay. Before you go devoting yourself to... It's <laughs> fine. It's fine. It's fine. Mark, my good friend, my very boring friend, thank you very much. I'm just... I'm just saying... Whether you like rocks or not, the University of Tersia is really pretty. Okay, and yeah, And it has sure. very cool rocks. Oh, wow. Rocks, so good. My favorite. Thank you, Mark. Okay, thank rocks you. Rocks is easy. <laughs> <laughs> I do him. I paid him. I can be mean to him. Okay, thank you, Mark. <laughs> Bye, Luto. Uh, please take care. You too. A very good uh, r rocking day, yeah. Stay, stay grounded, huh? <laughs> oh, wait! I thought you didn't like rock jokes. Anyway. Rock joke, uh, and then he leaves. <laughs> Farewell, Ludo. <sighs> Mark. <laughs> Yeah, with with a higher roll for for the perception, you get someone who wasn't gonna just immediately slap your face off for mentioning Harpesh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mark, he paid the price. He certainly did. <laughs> oh my goodness! It was right, either I'm that or Axolotl again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go looking for Ulf Ulfqual. Ulfqual, okay. Um. Well, taking into account the next of your uh, religion checks and just um, what Ulfqual's little um, lantern moth said to you on your arrival in town. Um, oh, right. As you're kind of figuring out where to start looking for Ulfqual's place, you just hear a little <laughs> and see this little kind of uh, moat of flame and soot kind of approach you. <gasps> you have need of us. Ah, yes, hello. Are you Opqual? <gasps> Not me personally. But I can help you find your way to them. Okay, yes, thank you. I need to talk to Opqual or like his uh, brother. Somebody in the higher okay. level Opqual family. <laughs> Oh, you're pretty funny. funny. Okay, thank you. Let's go. You like a cookie? I've I never thought... This one has never thought about eating before. I uh, produce and split a cookie. Eat half and then offer it the other half. Um, 
This this one does not have limbs or a body with which to consume. You can burn it. We could try. Right. Kind of just put it on the floor <laughs> or just hold it in your hand. I'll just hold it up. You know, it's like it's like pointing <laughs> upward. Okay. And they kind of fly into it and just you just see the top part just light on fire. <laughs> slowly makes its way down like a cookie candle there you go see you smell the burning sugars the burning mm. uh, dough it's nice right that is a new sensation to this one this is your payment i can name into you now let's go mm. <laughs> no ah, <laughs> this one will lead the way and kind of flits in front of you and uh, leads leads a little teeny smoky trail kind of uh, down and um, you see there's um, a kind of outcropping of this district that then leads under this sloped hill to a little underground nook and as you're kind of entering the, these caveways you see these little lanterns with more of these little sooty moths um, all flitting about. Oh, I get to change the music again. Oh wait, what number? I did this really messily. I was just like, if he goes here, play this number tune. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, are you sure? I don't think it is that one. <laughs> I don't think it is that one. Maybe it is, you don't know. No, I don't think it is this one. <laughs> I doubt it is this one. I feel like... No, isn't that... Isn't that that one? Wait. wait. Oh, you're right, it is that one. Wait, that's ninth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, but that's the one that says if it all goes bad. Oh. All right. <laughs> I think, does it mean this one? I think it means this one. <laughs> After all of that. Yeah. Oh, very Ulf quality music. Bringing in, bringing in the sound, the soundtrack. Um, yeah, this is the one. <laughs> okay. So, um, as you enter this little cavey area, uh, you see these large, kind of dark stone double doors um, that are partly opened. This is the way. Okay, kind of spooky. What is Ulf called the god of again? The, the, the Lost? Lost and the Lost. Okay. Be not afraid. Not there afraid is... when I'm in you. That one is very kind. Okay. This place has an ambience that makes many feel unnerved, but at the same time at home. This one hopes you will feel the same and mm. not intimidated. It's a little scary, but you know, it's nice. Hopefully. This one will find peace and reverence here. Yeah. Which one? This one. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, hard to tell whether they mean themselves <laughs> or you. <laughs> uh, I'll just point inward and be like, is Upqual in there? Maybe. Okay. Our main Thank priest is in there. I'll leave this for you, and I'll set the cookie down on any nearby ledge or the ground. Put it into the flames so that these ones may all share in its blessing. Okay, you yeah. You see a little open <laughs> sconce. <laughs> like I'll uh, crumble, crumble the cookie up into the flame. You just see all these little moths be like, oh. <laughs> and just <laughs> getting high off the cookie flames. <laughs> Ludo takes a second. You hear the, Thank you. Thank 
The Kill Bill alarm music for a second as he just stares at them and wonders what they taste like and then heads inside. <laughs> just <laughs> beep, warp, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> You just look at him like... What is this one looking at? Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> and they stay behind and just flit around to one of the other sconces. Now, as you as you enter this room, uh, you see it kind of looks like a very old, slightly run-down chapel uh, that's definitely been taken over by nature somewhat. Um, it has some magical light sources that make it feel like it could just be a chapel out in the middle of a misty forest. As the ivy kind of climbs and grows down, uh, it feels very empty in there, but yet, like, there are a lot of people in there at the same time. Um, it, 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 it does fill you with the kind of quiet, that only comes with being in a room full of strangers. Mm. Uh, very alone yet, very aware of the numbers around you. So there's like a lot of people in here? It's hard to tell. Uh, you can roll a perception check if you'd like. Uh, nah, it's okay. Four. Old Qual! <laughs> uh, you see... <laughs> You see a woman at uh, the kind of main altar turn around um, and just with her finger to her lips. Um, not looking angry or anything, just put with a finger to her lips as she turns around. You oh. see this slightly older human woman, kind of maybe um, in her 60s. Uh, She's kind of got these tired eyes, um, very kind, gentle smile, um, and slick back, uh, black hair kind of gently tied at the back with a very, very humble kind of set of robes on, just general robes, nothing outwardly, oh, this bitch is religious kind of vibe, <laughs> 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 like the Vieral, um, <laughs> the Vieral axolotl you met at the beginning of your arrival. Oh, sorry. I'm uh, looking... Uh, Take a seat. Okay. I totally had a voice for this woman and I've lost it. It will change next time. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I really didn't think you were going to come here. I gotta say. Um, I, I have a feeling I'm not going to be here long. <laughs> <laughs> you died. No. Um, ign don't worry about the music being from one, from uh, the scariest horror game I've ever played. Don't oh, worry about that. Good. Good. Um, <laughs> it, it is, but genuinely don't worry about it. What game is it? Uh, uh, Siren Blood Curse. Oh, never played that. I, I love it. I played for an hour and uh, Dime was with me and I cried. <laughs> oh, okay cool and i've watched it i'd watched an entire playthrough of it before and uh, i just cried um yeah could only lasted about an hour and a half and most of that was just going i don't want to do it <laughs> 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 um i was like oh there's some bangers in here um i'm sorry, sorry for being so loud in here i just need to I was wondering, uh, do you know if I can talk to Ulpqual? She nods gently and sits down on kind of one of the stone pews next to you. Um, which are just very plain stone benches. They're not kind of uh, decorated or have any little balcony for... I'm only, I only have Christian churches to refer to, so they don't have like little Bible stands and stuff. It's just a very plain uh, stone bench. Very dark charcoal, charcoalish stone walls. You've come here because you are lost. Ah, uh, yeah, I am looking for uh, an answer, I guess. 
Of course, may be able to help you. Very good. So I just we... tell you, and then you tell him, or we will go through the process together, rather than alone. Okay. My, My name is Holith Sani Depricia. Holith Sani Bakardeban. Thank you. I am Luta Bayani. <laughs> I take it you do not recognize the name. This is this is DM key asking. Correct. Should should I? Should should Roll JC? A history check. Just a yeah, just a history check. No advantage, no disadvantage. Roll a history check for me, please. Oh, my dice is rolling so slow, it's so dramatic. Oh no! <laughs> it stopped on a one. Oh. And <laughs> That's a one. <gasps> Hold on, let me add my b my modifier. Okay, plus zero. Uh -huh. Good one. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Never heard that name in your life. Hold it, Sani de What was it? Hold it, Sani to Prisha. Sani to I don't. I genuinely don't remember that. That's I don't remember a lot of things. That's so. That's all. There's a lot of names. There's a lot of names that have come up. I'm just wondering if Rubes is just over there, like <laughs> right now. <laughs> Rubes, do you do you know what I do not know? I have a really bad memory, just like okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got notes for days, so. Um, but no worries, no worries. It is not. It is not me being like, oh my god, you don't fucking remember all of these things. <laughs> um, it's also one of my favorite names that I've ever done. So. That, but that was beside the point. She looks to you, Luto. It's wonderful to meet you. Do uh, do you know much of Old Quill? Uh no. I just heard he helps the lost, and I'm lost. <laughs> that is all. One must need no. May I? And she holds uh, her hands out to you as if to take yours, but with her palms facing down. Okay, so like the slap hand game? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll put my hands out for the slap hand game. I'll do <laughs> one put... playful, it's very slow, ah, uh, flap, you know, like a little flap, <laughs> just a little one right handed flap. Ah, uh, got you. Actually, I'm gonna roll a, I'm gonna roll a dexterity. I'm gonna see if she moves her hand. <laughs> out. Oh my god! She moves her hand out the way before you can slap her. Oh, you're very good. Okay, okay. We're just holding our hands out for now. Okay. We can discuss lappies later. <laughs> kind, of, but she does kind of take you by surprise with how she just <laughs> 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 saw you coming. Um. She puts her hands on top of your palms. One of of Coral's main virtues, if you will, is that though the fisherman may cast with more clarity whence the sun is risen, there is bounty and success to be found by sailing only the moon's light, becoming one with the darkness of night. Uh huh. Does that ring any truth with you? Uh, I don't know. I don't. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been on a boat. <laughs> Not to worry then. Close your eyes for me. Okay. If you will. It's scary, huh? <laughs> Picture yourself on a calm but dark sea. Oh. Are you on a boat or are you just looking at the ocean? Are you watching yourself above the ocean? I am... Um... 
Swimming in the water. Are you floating? Are you swimming against the current? Or are I, you succumbing to its death? I am floating and everything is calm, but is scary. I see. You are safe here. You are doing well. Should, should I, I just ask, tell you what I want and then you can tell me if you can do that? We won't get to that, my friend. Okay. Do not worry. Okay. If I were to ask you to put your head beneath the water just to look, how would that make you feel? Okay. I want to see what's down there. Any other feeling? Uh, excitement? Maybe there's like a octopus or like a shark, like some kind of uh, shrimps, grouper, bass, fluke, tuna, salmon, angelfish. He's just gonna keep going. <laughs> She's like, let him cook. <laughs> Is this JC just trying to think of as many fish? Yes, <laughs> yes. Thank you for thank you for interrupting. I I had nothing else. She's, I couldn't think of any other fish. She's listening intently. It all means something to her. Okay. Uh, basically, he conveys that he's uh, excited at the possibilities of what could be under the water. Put your head under the water for me. Okay. He physically... He physically lowers his head and he frowns. It's nothing. It's just dark. You see the faintest light in the darkness. Oh, wait, wait. What is it? It's a uh, light, I think, but it's very far away. Can you reach it? Okay. I start uh, swimming southward towards the downward, towards the wa towards the light. Make a dexterity, uh, acro acrobatics check or athletics for me, please. Athletics, very good athletics. Nice, twenty six. Easily get to the light. As you swim further and further down into the darkness, a voice in the back of your head. What is the light, Luto? It's yellow. It's uh, not like a eyes i think it's a person is that a person go on what else do you see the light gets slightly brighter revealing more and more of the image before you what does Lito see it's not yellow it's got yellow hair and it's got blue eyes. It's Amber Lai. I see my uh, my partner. She's glowing under the water. 
Is she okay? She's sad. Why is she sad? Uh, it's even though I try to get closer to her, it's like she's still so far away. I'm trying to swim to her, but she's always so far. You see Umberlai turn her head to you. Less so her turning her head to you as much as the water is pushing her head towards you. To look. And you see her mouth move, but hear no words. What words does Luto hear? She's saying something. I can't quite make it out. Uh, too, f too far. I focus. Roll a religion check for me, please. Oh my god, everybody! Uh, oh, not very good. It's a nine. I got a nine. You see her mouth move again. But this time her jaw just hangs open. The light from her eyes dimming. What is happening now? She's calling to me but i think she's dying and i can't get to her she's too far away somewhere in the back of your subconscious you feel thumbs wrap around the back of your hand as the once just laying hands of hollis Hold on tighter, comforting. What can you do now? I, I can't do anything now. That's why I come here. I, I need more. I need, I need power so I can reach her. What power do you need? Forever. I, I need to be forever. Like she is. And what would you do for that? Anything. You feel as a force pulls you back to the surface. Your eyes closing as they do. And as your body feels the warmth. As you're pulled out of the water. You open your eyes to see Hollis sitting in front of you once again. <gasps> arms wrapped around the backs of your hands. 
Ludo's bewildered. You know, his eyes are wide and his heart's racing and he's sweating. She'll kind of put her hand on your heart and you feel it steady slightly. Kind of a very watered down version of calm emotions where you still feel the emotions but your body body's response is less visceral. I need to breathe. <sighs> <sighs> it is scary in here. You are okay. You did so well. She lets go of your hands. It is difficult, Luto. The things you ask. are not inconsiderable. <laughs> what are you gonna do, right? I need it. And if Ulfqual can give me that, then I'll do anything Ulfqual wants. I'm not sure if Ulfqual can help you. You almost lost yourself to the currents and to the sea. To the fears and the nightmares of your waking days. Asking for such power does not come without extreme sacrifice and danger. I don't mind sacrifice. I don't mind danger. I... Well, not even only to yourself. I mean, I could be a danger to people around me? It is possible. But there are those that grow so accustomed to the depths that they themselves adapt to it. To a point where whatever is left is not the person who initially dove in to the waters. They no longer have the voice to call out to those they wanted to save. They no longer have the soft touch of hands to reach to them. Only claws and tooth and talon. Mm. I do not want that to happen to you. I guess me either. You know what though, you helped me to learn Holly. What? Hollis, if you don't mind. Oh, right. Holly. Sankar Bidjar. Hollis is fine. Yes. Ah. Uh, Ulfqual helps the lost. Right? Mm. I realized. That's something they can help. I realized I am not lost. I know where I am and I know where I want to go. I just uh, got to get the power to get there. That is what I am saying. The power could be the very thing to stop you getting what you want. Being mm. lost is not not knowing the next steps in your life. It is being lost to any other possibilities. Mm -hmm. And no disrespect, my friend. But if you pursue this path to eternal life and power, Whoever you save, if you are even able to save them, will not recognize who you will become. 
Or leave. And that is where Ulf Quarrel can help. Hmm. Uh, or leave. Of course, yes. How long do elves live? They can live up to a few hundred years. Okay, then I don't need forever, just uh, 200 years. Will that really resolve everything that ails you? Truly. She is afraid of being alone. I don't want to leave her alone. I will be frank with you. Should you be open to find ways to achieve your goals without exacerbating the arcana exploiting it to its maximum potentials then Ulfquarl can help you and I too can help should you be set in your ways of longevity and power. Then I must ask you to leave. Respectfully. I do a very soft, very gentle slap at her hand again. <laughs> does, does it connect? It does that time, yeah. Yes, ah, gotcha. Okay. Olive, thank you very much. But I need to I need to find I need to find a way to last. At you least are making a mistake. Yeah. Huh? That's what we do when we're in love. He uh, smiles and stands gives her a deep bow thank you for everything she nods polite tentative smile still there and he leaves I guess okay as you leave the all the sconces of flames flicker just slightly as you walk past. Spooky. Where to next, Luto? Uh, Luto is going to go to a break. Can we take a break? I, I, did, I did delivery at the door. I got to go get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> or y'all can yeah. y'all can continue and I can do yeah, a little segue I'll, back to Rubes and I'll be right I'll back. Do. I'll do a little do a little chatting. Yeah, go mm -hmm. go All right. go get your delivery. BRB. <laughs> Holy shit. That was a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not in the stuff I prepared, but uh <laughs> very cool. <laughs> Sorry, Maka, not sorry. And thank you, Scorpio. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's moments like that. that it's just like, I was not prepared for that. And then it was <laughs> like, <laughs> a shopping session, deep lore. Well, you know, JC had mentioned something about potentially going and having a look at the temple district. So I got mm -hmm. a little prepared just in case. <laughs> um you know why it's shopping and errands you know, <laughs> er errands um okay. <laughs> but yeah with, with scenes like that it's just like you gotta go with the flow of it like it was just like that's that's the kind of old quarrel saying 
Cool. Okay. You, uh, it's like that thing where people were like, you see a cube in a field. How many horses are next to the cube? <laughs> um, I was just like, do that, but the ocean. Like, are you on the ocean? Are you in the ocean? What's going on? And it was like, swimming in the ocean? Oh, fun. Um, and then I just let him run with it. Just mm -hmm. kind of put the control in his hands. And that was fun. Uh, that was fun. Mm -hmm. Shopping for new baggage today. <laughs> really, though. Really, though. Would you guys have gone with Of Qual? Do you think longevity is the fix to the relationship? Or do any of you remember who Holith Sunny Tapriche is? That's the real question. You have to go back and re listen. <laughs> Try to find. Skim through think, all the episodes. I think <laughs> only mentioned once or twice. So. Uh -huh. If that. But you know, no pressure. No pressure. That's that's one for the real, the real deep lore. Lore fiends. <laughs> the lore lovers. Mm hmm. For real. Not met them. Uh. No. You might. Because <laughs> Mark is going to come into the server at some point like, Guys! I just oh realized God. who all of these are to bring us! <laughs> 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 Is It's going to be interesting. I'll tell you that fucking much. Uh, so out of all of the deities that have been mentioned, you know, we've got the god of sin. We've got the deities of the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> which he didn't even want to hear they've got a real cool thing and he didn't want to hear it um it's fair are enough. Cool. <laughs> are so cool uh this the viral um there's um the guy the drow guy on the bench and then there's Ijzeor, the spirit of knowledge uh, would you guys have gone to any of them Oh, is there a fish god? There is a... There is... There are kind of different deities that are branches of different, like, nature elements. Um, funnily enough, there is a... Uh, a half deity, I believe. Or a demigod. Um... Uh... <laughs> uh, a demi deity of a few specific fish. Nice. Mm, let me double check. Fun law time. Uh, list of deities. Seto. Uh, yes. Uh, C E T O. Smaller geta a smaller goddess of sea monsters, whales, and large sharks. Me. I'm back. Hi. Hi welcome welcome back. back. I was thinking, is Holith? Sandy Tapricia having to do with the person behind the door? Ooh. Uh -huh. Dang, I did roll a one. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, the person behind the door, Harpesh had said that's one of hers, right? One of her oh, hands. true, true, true. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. I'm once again awesome, grasping at straws. I don't know. That would be funny if you go in there like, I want to talk to Hapesh, and she's like, don't do, don't say that from my other god. What are you doing? <laughs> and hello, son. And we had someone else come in as well. Uh, Jin, oh, hi and bye, Jinjin. Jin. Hello. Hi, hi and bye, everyone. Who is coming? Hi, Maka. Hi, Maka. Hi, Maka. Yeah, we, we figured Marka might, like, get to the Holith Sun to uh, knowledge and then just freak, come and freak out in the Discord <laughs> server. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but once once forgotten, you do need that history roll, even if you remember who they are as a player. I definitely do not. Them as a play if you remember <laughs> them as a player and it comes up as a, as a, as a character, and you remember them, that's that's fair. If you don't remember them as a player, and well, the character is not going to remember them, unless you roll for the history check, but if you remember them suddenly as a player after rolling that, 
you've still got a role history check for the for the character, if that makes sense. It does. So you can be like, I know who they are. Fuck, my character is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Pain. <laughs> but I'll still allow history rolls because yeah, it's gonna be fucking impossible otherwise. But yes. Um, anything else you would like to do, Camellia, or you just here for the here for vibes and shenanigans? Oh, she needs to go back and grab the dagger. Yes, that will probably come into play tomorrow's session. Okay. Because we'll say oh, yeah. everyone just has a chill morning in case anyone else wants to um, accidentally commit themselves to a different deity. <laughs> 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 or even not accidentally, they just want to. Yeah, exactly. Um, and yeah, but we'll kind of start tomorrow's session with chill, chill morning and then... <laughs> Kicking off at noon. Noon. Because there's also any evening stuff that people wanted to do as well. So. Yeah. So you gotta remember dagger. Mm -hmm. Not got like one of those little buttons. It's like your dagger is ready. Come pick it up. <laughs> Starts buzzing. It's a sending show. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ludo. What now? What now? Uh, off to, <laughs> off to <laughs> like, the shrine of Isimesh. 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 Isimik. Isimik. Okay, let me let me let me put, put some spellings down for you. Okay, so. <laughs> Sun Kaiser, <laughs> thank you. That will help. Okay, how do you guys think you spell Ijzeor, the spirit of knowledge at the library? Oh. I D J. Mm -hmm. S E O R. Close. Okay. Uh, say it again. <laughs> Rims is like. Uh, Ijzeo. 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 Spirit of knowledge <laughs> at the Xinhua Library. Ijzeo. I. In a sentence. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I voice so much. I D Z I O R. I think I think J C gets that one for close. Wow. Ijzeor. I'm surprised you got the I D J. Oh. That was pretty close. Um, you don't know uh, Leos the the I can't even say his fucking name. Uh, Leosurin's deity's name. How do you think you spell Leosurin? <laughs> L E O S E R I N. Close. My pressure, Reeves. <laughs> you can't say it again. Leosurin. I'm, I'm distracted because Goob's licking my arm. Oh, <laughs> Goob's is goobs. like, you got this! <laughs> She's helping. Leosurin. The drow on the bench is called Leosurin. L E O R S O R I N. Also close. Oh, nice. The With the Y on the bench. <laughs> on the bench. <laughs> on the bench. <laughs> then we got um, cool statue guy, Esamic. Esamic. Cool statue. E S I M E K. Esamic. Close. Is it E S I M E C H? Less oh. close, but similar vibe. Esimic. Esimic. Uh, then, of course, we have Vieral, who we've met before. V Y E R A L. Nope. <laughs> 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 Just... What about Ulfqual? That's a that's a name. It's like, is it more complicated than it sounds, or simple as it sounds? U L F apostrophe K W A L. That is not the apostrophe. Really gives it that key spin, which I. <laughs> <laughs> you get bonus points for that. <laughs> it is. It is just Ulf. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. 
of coal, of coal. Of coal. And then uh, the actually much cooler than it sounds uh, deities that you didn't want to learn anything about are Stellatia and Stalagma. They do sound cool, but yeah. They, they fucking are. <laughs> I don't just think they can get Ludo. Just because they're deities of the rocks doesn't mean they're, they're they just do rock things. Can they give Ludo <laughs> immortality? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Didn't ask Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Should have asked him. Pushing him off in the rocks. Oh, and also uh, deity of sins, Derisandis. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's so, where we find Volantis. <laughs> High priest. <I'm> so stupid. <laughs> Deity of the rocks. Stalacia and Stalagma, their lore is actually kind of fucking cute. But the rocks. But too so bad you ruined it, JC. <laughs> now you never get to know. Yeah, someone's gonna be like, hey, have you guys heard of the University of Tuja? And, and Ludo's gonna be like, I don't know, fucking rocks. <laughs> <laughs> boring rock so boring <laughs> but actually the rocks are rather excited shut up <laughs> it's like every npc in your world is just <laughs> obsessed with rocks <laughs> <laughs> i mean look it is it is canon that you can get a degree in uh <laughs> geology and rocks in the world <laughs> yep so, who are you going to next? Oh, you're going to SMX next. SMX. Okay. Cue SMX music. We'll see if the playlist works again. Probably not. Uh, SMX. Fourth. Is it actually? It is. Oh, dang. <laughs> Whoa. Dead ass, him of the faith, y'all. No. Oh damn. Uh oh. I knew that. I knew this sounded familiar. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, hat, hat to. So, as you um, look around the temple district until you find this shrine, you see kind of a tall. Not dissimilar to the shrines on Ash Sky, kind of uh, very tall, almost gazebo-ish in shape, um, kind of domed ceiling, uh, kind of sliced in half, so it's mostly undercover, but still kind of open to the elements. And it's just just off the beaten track, not far away from the graveyard again. Uh, kind of perched among various trees, quite ashy trees, and smoke bushes, and you see this statue that is um, hard to tell if it's life-sized or not, but it is slightly taller than your average humanoid, kind of nine to ten foot tall, and you see this very kind of plain humanoid figure um, one leg tucked back, the arms outstretched, leaning slightly forward, head looking down directly at whoever is looking back up, and just a cacophony of wings from the back fanning out, wearing this mask of feathers and kind of curled, engraved metals. All in stone form, but sculpted to give this effect. And a single eye, kind of closed, sculpted onto the forehead, about the size of a forehead. It just flows back into more, just a mane of feathers. And just too many fingers for the hands. Just everything is human, but not quite. Mm. Um, and just to the side, as you kind of see the entrance, you do see a fairly um, 
well, I was going to say a small halfling, but halflings by nature, um, you see a kind of um, nervous, part, part armoured, part robed uh, halfling, kind of fairly straight bangs, uh, just their ears poking out from their dirty, pale blonde hair. And just a, a very constant look of caution and concern, almost. Very much keeping to themselves. Looking away from the statue. SMA. Uh -huh. Oh. Um. Are you alright? Can I help you with something? Yeah, yes, hello. Is this the temple of Esamik? Uh, this is the shrine of Esamik, yes. Oh, Are very good. Here to, to, to pray to them? I was hoping to talk to them, or like uh, somebody who works for them. Oh, the, 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 that, would, that would be me. Um, You see, they kind of nervously clutch a hand kind of to their uh, clavicle. And... Uh, very, very tentatively reach out for a handshake. Um, my name is Clarel Idark. It is a pleasure to meet you, sir. Ah, nice to meet you, Clarel. He'll kind of like stoop a little low and reach down to shake, uh, shake hands with him. Okay, uh, Miss Idark, I was wondering, uh, if uh, you know if Esamik is uh, in the business of offering blessings to his followers. Oh, well, we haven't had anyone come to devote themselves to Esamik in many years. Um, of course, of course. Um, do you know of Esamik? No. What, what does Esamik do? Just, no, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> just the geeky part of me. I wouldn't know this <laughs> man if he was walking down the street. Just, <laughs> um... he, he could have my soul, though. He, he <laughs> soul. Oh, right? Dude. That's the main thing. Uh, Esmik is a celestial, angelic deity of faith, and they are the all-seeing. They see us all in their divine vision. Okay. Is that not wonderful? Mm, not exactly what I'm looking for, but I'll keep going. What 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 you what you what 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 is it that you are looking for? Uh, I was hoping somebody, some kind of god, could give me like plus two hundred years on my life. Well, uh, Asimek is. The deity of faith and the all seer, they they see all, and that is not just us and any other earthly things. That is all creatures, all magic, all possibilities, all futures, all fates. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. And with just some faith, you can achieve those things with Esmex help. Oh, so he can do it. What do I gotta do to get the two hundred years to my life? Pray to him, commune with him, and he, he will show you the way. Okay. I'll show you the way. Sounds a little scary. <laughs> can I talk to him now? Yes. It is a serious committal, but on both ends, this agreement is mutual. Okay. And they have uh, as much fear in their hearts as you have in yours. Oh, okay. I, I don't have a lot of fear in my heart. I'm kind of, uh, not really a fearful kind of person. So you have faith? Uh, yeah. You see a smile start to really emanate from her face. Sure. 
Yeah, yeah, faith. And where there is faith, there is purpose. And where there is purpose, there is achievement. And Esimic will bless your every footstep in that direction. Nice. Very good. And give me 200 years to my life. That is between you and the all seeing themselves. Okay. So, but I take a knee here. I pray. I ask him now. Yes. If, if you. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah. Uh, I'm very you... excited too. <laughs> it's wonderful. Uh, if you come before the statue and gaze up into their visage. Uh -huh. See yourself from their image. And close your eyes and surrender yourselves to their faith. Let huh. them carry your spirit and your soul. Okay, I'll I'll Focus. try that right now. Focus. Commune. Believe. See. Focus. Commune. Believe. And as you kind of stand before the statue, as you look up at it before closing your eyes, you swear just the millisecond before your lashes close, you see the stone eye on its forehead open suddenly. And at that point, your eyes close and you hear Clairol's chanting. Believe, commune, have faith, see, see. And as those words travel further and further behind you, I'm going to need an arcana roll, my guy. Or okay. no, a religion, sorry. Religion roll, okay. It's all Jesus today. Ain't nothing but a Jesus. Ain't nothing but Jesus. Rolling my Jesus dice. Oh, looking pretty good. Oh, it had to be, uh, had to be Epic Gaming Jams. Had to be. 17. Nice! Hey, oh, that is good roll, yeah? You're going to, you're going to fist bump Jesus, yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it just takes over. You feel as this darkness encloses you where once you stood before this tall, glorious statue. You see the darkness. You feel around you the darkness in this open, endless space. With your eyes still closed, you feel grass on your feet between your toes. A cool but warming breeze like that of home. All the while knowing that around you is pure black. You breathe in through your nose, smelling the wildflowers and the sea, you hear just the gentle <sighs> of a sea. And through your closed eyes, you see this darkness become dust as all turns to white light. And opening your eyes, you see this just pure white grass under your feet, very soft, very comforting, and just a very lucid illusion of one of your favorite places from home, but just very, very faint in the background of this endless void of light.
From behind, you feel these pulses of wind. As this figure approaches, you still stood facing forward as you were before, your eyes still meeting the gaze of this statue that is no longer in your vision, and you feel these soft down wings curl around your arms. My child, you seek me. I do. I wanted. I wanted. Music's fucking haunted. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I wanted to see if you and I could make a deal. But of course. You kind of feel a weight towards your right shoulder not as it not quite as if someone is leaning their head on your shoulder but as if someone is kind of leaning towards your ear ooh I got what, goosebumps what sayest thou I am here I am listening I see you my Lady Love is an elf, and as you can see, I am a human. Uh, she will live for many, many years, and I, uh, not so much. I need to live at least as long as she does. I cannot leave her alone. I want to know if you were to give me that power, what it would take of me. Your wishes are so noble. Others would not see it as such kindness, would they? Ah. Uh. Your vision flickers to Holith earlier. Kind of ask, effectively asking you to leave. Yeah, you know, some people think that it's uh, selfish or dangerous, but uh, well, I don't know. I just she told me eh, in the past she was left behind, and that it didn't work because she was in love with a human. And now, she's doing it again, and I'm sure she's scared. And I don't want her to be scared anymore. Not of that, at least. And you are willing to sacrifice so much for that? Sure. But, you know, what's it about? Well, what do you need from me so I can have this power? I would need your faith, your belief, your sight. My sight? You would still have your sight, my child. I would not blind you to the world that you so wish to save her. Kind of switches shoulders slightly. Standing behind you tall, comforting. I would see the world as you, as you would of me. I would lead you to places that would fill your dreams. And as the all seer, I would see, I would love nothing more than to see them come to fruition. Oh, well, that sounds perfect. <laughs> I, I don't know who you are or what you teach or if I have to do anything specific, 
like my one friend he had a religion and then when i go to his house i have to take off my shoes is there anything like that with you would you take off your shoes for your loved one uh, yeah of course You would walk across hot coals to see them safe, no? For my loved ones, yeah. Then there is no sacrifice too great that you will not survive and be willing to achieve for them. Of course. We will devote ourselves to each other, see as the other sees, share insight, knowledge, comfort, guidance. And through that, you will see your hopes achieved. As long as you have faith. And have faith in me. This time you do feel a slight brush against your shoulder. So long as you can keep me with Umberlai, as long as she is alive, then yes. I will do whatever you, whatever you need of me. Ah, uh, I mean, I do have to do this thing where I'm closing all these portals, and then I probably don't want to kill anybody innocent. But you know, just uh, so long as you're not making me become a bad guy, then sure, sure. Well, some would already consider you evil for wanting to save your love. Yeah, that's true. Some judgments are from those who are not worth listening to. We should only believe the viewpoints of those we would care for. And why care for someone who does not hear us out? Yeah. Yeah. You feel some of the wings stretch further across behind you. Turn into my arms. Embrace. My sight. And the deal will be done. Fear not. You have faith. You have all that you need to achieve what you set out for. DM. Merely make sure it occurs. Yes. Can I roll an insight check? What are you? What are you looking for? Uh, just. You know... Vibe check? Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. a little... Hey, before <laughs> I sign my soul away forever, just, yeah. you know, we good? Absolutely. Roll at disadvantage for me, please. Oh, just shit. Tech. Disadvantage? Shit. Okay. Well, that was a 25. But with Ooh. disadvantage... Oh, boy. Come on! 15. 15 with disadvantage. 15 is still good. Okay. Any great change takes a leap of faith. Ludo knows that they were coming to this district pretty much to go shopping for pretty, well, effectively Harpesh. God job. Uh, having, having learned that Harpesh maybe isn't the best, but also doesn't have a temple here, is just like extra work and faff. I know. Like, this person, like, Mark didn't say this person was bad. Yeah. Nobody really knows about this person. And 
maybe maybe Ludo stumbled on something really good. It maybe seems really Ludo good. Has stumbled on something really bad. But Ludo does have faith. Ludo is faith. Whatever Ludo does, they have faith in. True. They put their head under the water of Ulfgwal's trial with nary a hesitation. Despite any pits in their stomach, they still carried on looking at the glowing light at the bottom of the water. The very first day of our adventures. Or the third day, but you know, <laughs> metaphorically. They jumped from sky islands into the ocean. They were one of the first to use the sky hooks. They took a bird and made it a friend. They got together with this group of ragamuffins and set out to save the world. They met this fey creature who was imprisoned because they had faith. Ludo As to will what that faith means that is up to you. Okay. Ludo will turn towards the feathery embrace and spread his arms wide and uh, bury himself in the embrace of this being. As you feel just the layers upon layers of feathers and kind of thin limbs and thin skin fibers beneath the wings. And as you step back out of the embrace, the head is lowered to your level. And beneath the mask, you see just hundreds upon thousands of eyes. Oh. All red with white pupils. Whoa. And under the mask, a gentle, comforting smile. And it gives you confidence. Because sometimes the hardest of tasks look the most scary at the outset. But that's the first hurdle to every journey. And as you blink, you come back conscious in front of the statue, which is as it was before, but just a slight kind of afterglow of arcane magic in prayer. And you see Claire will kind of run up to you. How did that go? Do I feel any different? Does anything feel... feel... Oh. Yeah. You feel a lot lighter. Mm. For absolute sure. Um, and you are now a follower of Esme. All right. Mm -hmm. We will find out the full extent of that tomorrow. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh boy! I'm perfectly I'm fine. Sure sure I was expecting Esamek, <laughs> but I'm very excited it's Esamek. I would have been excited for any of them. Um, man, of course. But yes. Um, is it is he basically like a biblically accurate angel? Because it was like feathers and eyeballs, right? That's... There is, there is an, definitely a lot of winged I, I did uh, feathered vibes to them. Yeah, that's what okay. I'll say. 
That's the sound of me smiling. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah. Angelic deity of faith in the all-seeing. Um, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, yes, you would leave the shrine feeling blessed. Hashtag blessed. Um, <laughs> feeling as if your faith has been restored. And feeling you younger, have... maybe? Something? Feeling... Renewed, renewed focus. Okay. And like you've got a forever Skype line with uh, Esmic, should you need. That's good. Yeah. Just having a direct line Why to. You sound so worried. I'm not. Giant winged eyeball god. Great. I love it. <laughs> I mean, my... is it better than Harpesh? You had scary door lady. That's true. I mean, yeah, he was, he was willing to make a deal with Harpesh and he already saw firsthand how scary that could be. So this is, this is much better. Wings, it's angel stuff. It's happy times. Yeah, celestial. That's good. <laughs> he sounds uh, so concerned. Yeah. Uh, Gameplay wise, <laughs> are, is there any changes I should be aware of? Yeah. I'll get those to you as soon as I can, because uh, with not with not knowing where this was gonna go, uh, I I was like I'll leave the work for when we know which deity you ha you have chosen, blind date deity edition. Um, so I'll get that together for you over the next day and uh, send that to you before tomorrow's session, if I can. Me. Uh, guess we'll find out if you're a cleric or a warlock as well that'll be fun oh boy that's the exciting yeah. part mm -hmm. okay. yeah although it was two sides of the same coin you know yeah basically yeah yeah they ludo still ludo it's just look man if <laughs> i'm shit at home brewing so if, if i'm like you would you would get this ability but it is technically under warlock but you are a cleric <laughs> like, <laughs> just, just just flavor okay um but yes that is, I think, where we shall uh, call it for today. Exciting times. Thank Ooh. you very much, DM. Of course. Thank you, Key. Thank you, Key. That, that friggin' off call scene was dope. Yeah. That was. We, we just went improv on that shit. <laughs> that was goosebumps the whole time on that off call scene. That was Yay! nice. Me too. I was like, ooh, he cooking. What, what, do you, what do you see, Ludo? Keep going. Tell me story. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I gotta yeah. say, it uh, <laughs> it's, it's hard to do these serious roleplay scenes when I'm basically doing like my uh, like my drunk uncle voice. <laughs> <laughs> that was your choice. <laughs> it was, and I had to stick with it because we locked it in very early on. But yeah, like I'm trying to do these like deeply personal spiritual That's scenes that I'm like, hey, what's the matter with you? Uh, what's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you see beneath the tides? I see shark. <laughs> Sa salmon. Trooper. Tuna. Salmon. Tuna. Angel fish. Angel, Angel fish. fish. <laughs> Puffer fish. Marlin. Salt fish. Blue whale. Finding Blue whale. Nemo. <laughs> Finding me, <laughs> clownfish, blue dory, blue tang, yellow tang, <laughs> soul, place, <laughs> nurse shark, white debris shark, black debris shark. <laughs> it's a whale, it's a dolphin. <laughs> As a, a common dolphin, bottlenose dolphin, <laughs> he's gonna keep going. <laughs> false porpoise. <laughs> I told you, I don't fuck around when it comes to Endless Ocean. There's <laughs> <laughs> all the sea creatures. <laughs> ah. So good. Well, Keith, thank you very much for that little mini session. Uh, we got a lot done and uh, got some exciting, exciting stuff done. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how, 
how did you guys like shopping? Yeah, shopping <laughs> did you was believe great. It? Shopping was great for me. Yeah, yeah. It was lovely shopping. Shopping for clothes, <laughs> shopping for weapons, shopping for gods. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Shopping around, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, it's the good shopping session when uh, hymn of the faith comes on <laughs> 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 and friggin' Simon Siren blood curse. Jesus. Yeah, that yeah, it got it got spoopy. It got spoopy I'm under a, that I'm water. A, I'm gonna keep my trump card for Siren Blood Curse. It'll be great. <laughs> just you, I'll just be like, you enter a room and I'll play the song, and Dime's just gonna go, oh fuck no, <laughs> we've <have, laughs> we done something bad to end up with this song playing. <laughs> with yes, and thank you, Scorpio. New deity subclass vibes. Yes. Um. Guess we'll it's see. Glorious. Mm -hmm. In Day less than 24 hours, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Rock Roxury knows. Roxury Roxury is totally down for my stellation and stalagma lore. <laughs> <laughs> rocks like rocks. Mm -hmm. I did almost call them stalagma, and then I was like, no, because that'd be stalagma balls. So. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking cool. <laughs> Mark alone. <laughs> <laughs> I did legitimately have a huge list of of NPC names. I was like, Nah, this guy Mark. Oh, Mark. <laughs> this guy Mark. <laughs> yes, thank you, Scorpio. Learned how to skip rocks last year. Nice. Such a nerd, Good. rocks. It's good. It's good stuff. You you'd like you'd like um, uh, Tirja, the the land that uh, or the city that Mark did his <laughs> degree in <laughs> for their uh, geology, their geology degree, and it's yeah just a ravine city basically with a huge university. Nice. It specializes in nature and geology and uh, arcane shit. It's very cool. But anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for coming. Thank and you, DM. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Yeah. All right. Do some planning. I'm going to go close this up. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. Yes. And if you want some more content, I believe Dime Package is live right now. So you can go send some love. Oh, should we raid? Is that a thing we should oh, do? Yeah. We can do. Wait, let, me, let me double, let me double, let me double check. Let me know about Jack if time package is live. He is. He's streaming Mark of Cree. Gonna do a raid to a little time package. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, he don't need me down. <laughs> I love that song so much. It's so good. Gotta save a little little bit for later. Have you heard the KK Slider edition? No, fun. I've not heard that. Me 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 queen and I'm me now on a week way. me now. All right, click on oh. over. Let's go visit Dime, everybody. <laughs> yes, go send your love to people. Thanks Woo. for coming out, everybody. See you later. Bye. Stay. Sweet. And we have raided. Yay. Uh, Yay. what's the other card game? Bellatro. <laughs>